two minutes. I'll teach you in two minutes. Today's lesson, basic defense in Street Fighter V. You literally live or die on how well you can defend yourself in Street Fighter V. Waking up in the corner with your opponent right on top of you is one of the most terrifying experiences you can have. So today, we're going to discuss two basic options and how they can be used. Blocking and interrupting. Blocking in Street Fighter is quite simple. There are high attacks and low attacks. You can't block high while blocking low and vice versa. Knowing when to block left or right is also very important. Blocking a cross-up jumping attack requires you to block the opposite direction from when the opponent left the ground. There are also projectile mix-ups that have to be blocked the opposite way they came from due to some unique movement options that some characters have. In these cases, you have to block based on where the opponent is rather than the fireball. Interrupting can be defined as poking through the little gaps in your opponent's pressure. Your opponent will sometimes knock you down and attempt to attack you on your wake-up. If the attacks are not properly timed, you can press your fastest button in order to interrupt the pressure. If you're lucky, you can get a counter hit and convert that into some good damage. Be careful going for this option though. Your opponent might actually have gaps that aren't wide enough for these attacks to go through, and you end up getting counter hit instead. This is what is known as a frame trap. Another way to interrupt is with an invincible special move, EX Shoryuken, EX Spinning Bird Kick, or even Zangief's Super are all examples of this. You shouldn't always rely on these options to get you out of pressure though. If the opponent is smart enough, they can bait you into wasting your meter and punish you very hard for it. So you end up taking a whole bunch of damage and you lost your meter. We'll cover more about baiting and frame traps in future lessons. And that will bring us to next week's lesson. Thank you for watching guys, stay tuned for more.